Welcome to an excerpt from our Adoration Talk conversation on Prayer the Basics. I'm Sister Sarah Hennessy, the Coordinator of Perpetual Adoration for the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration. You can find the longer talk on our YouTube channel. Please check it out. Our personal prayer is our lifeline to God. It's how we develop habits and begin to see God's action in our lives. We contemplate and we see God in our life. We meditate and we think about it. We converse and tell God all about what is on our hearts. Jesus prayed in small groups with his family, family, friends, and disciples. We gather today for comfort, for solace, for concern. We gather together to help and support each other. As Jesus says, where two or three are gathered, there I am in the midst of them. Three main ways to pray in a small group are silence, dialogue, and shared prayer. Let's look at each of these varieties. In silence, we sit and wait in the presence of God. Our adoration practice in our chapel is silence in a small group. I can't quite describe it, but there's a special spirit that we often talk about. The very air seems alive. In the silence, we become vulnerable without words before our God. The night of the Last Supper, Jesus went with a few of his disciples to pray in the garden. He asked them to stay and keep watch with me. Sometimes when a friend is in sorrow, well, sometimes as a family gathers around a loved one that is dying, the deepest prayer that we can have is just silence. Together, we truly feel God's presence. One of the greatest examples of a group dialogue prayer is the rosary. One person leads and the others respond. Together, our voices form a chorus. When I lived in Mexico, the neighborhood women gathered for 30 days before the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, saying the rosary each night in the street in front of their house. They said that they needed the extra long time because things were so hard, they needed extra prayer. Shared prayer can take many forms as we share our faith, reflect, and pray for others together. One of my favorite types of shared prayer is an ancient form of reflecting on scripture together called Lectio Divina, or Divine Reading. I'm going to walk you through the steps. First, you can choose any passage. The scripture of the day or the gospel of the Sunday Mass is a good place to start. First, read the passage out loud, slowly and contemplatively. After a few minutes of silence, have each person say a word or phrase that touches their heart. Then, read the passage a second time. Follow it with a few minutes of silence. Now, let each person share what they think God is saying to them through the reading. What intrigues you, confuses you, stays with you? How is your heart moved? Thirdly, move to a place of silent contemplation. Read the scripture aloud a third time, perhaps with a different person. This time, just rest in three to four minutes of silence. Don't try to figure it out. Just simply rest with God in the silence. For a closing, finish by saying a common prayer together, like the Our Father. This practice of prayerful scripture reading in a small group is a wonderful way to move God's word from our head into our hearts. We can share many practices of prayer with our friends and family, such as silence, the rosary, Lectio Divina, or many other ways of opening our hearts to God. These are just a few of the many ways that we can pray. Another important way is through our communal worship, such as the Eucharist. We come together as a community to break open the Word of God and the body and bread of Christ, and then to spread the good news in the world. In each of these ways, we become not only those who say prayers, but we truly become people of prayer. As we turn to God, our hearts are changed and our lives are never the same. Thank you for listening to our Adoration Talk on Prayer the Basics. 
with me, Sister Sarah Hennessy, with the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration. You can always send us prayer requests at our website, phone, text, and street address. Know that we are praying for you without ceasing. God bless you.